Uh, it really uh, good collective win for us. I thought a ton of guys played well. It's hard to isolate one or two guys that you know were the reason. And sometimes when you win, it's because one guy plays great. I just thought we had a lot of guys play well. I thought we really did a good job. Um, you know, I feel for those guys. I hope the the Snell kids knees okay and. You know they've had it. They've kind of been through what we were through last year, and that's not fun. So I give them credit for competing hard and uh, happy for our team. Congrats on the win, you guys. Uh, you know, coming off of a bit of an ugly loss to Monmouth, you know, I had to feel good to come back home, and get a, a comfortable win. Um, you know, so what was what was clicking for you guys today? Well, I thought it was a lot of things. I mean, you know, and and and. Um, we were sharp offensively. We shared the ball. We had 12 assists in our first 14 baskets. Um, and so the ball was finding the right guy. And I thought other than giving up some offensive rebounds in the first eight to 10 minutes of the game, we were good on the defensive end too. So it was just a lot of things. I thought we had really good energy, really good chemistry, really good kind of togetherness and teamism. And um, it's easy when everybody's playing well to, to be like that. But it was a game where we were subbing guys to keep them fresh, not because there were matchups that were hurting us, uh, which is, you know, which is obviously how you want it to go. And um, Landon Glass for 16 points in the first half, um, rendered useless in the second half. Uh, what, what adjustments were made guarding him in the second half? Well, we did change our ball screen coverage. Uh, he's a great player. And they were 4-2, and two, so that version of their team was 4-2 and two in the league. And then he went down, and they went one and seven without him. And and you can see how important he is because he can really get it going. And um, he he did have a huge first half. I thought we got the ball out of his hands with some traps that was effective. I thought we used, we let Tyler get into him more instead of soft drop coverages. Um, but you know, like you get guys like that. Guy's averaging twenty a game. I mean, so he's and he gets. I think it was 18 shots a game that he averages. So when you guard a guy like that, that's that's a high volume and he's so electric with his speed, you have to gap him a little bit and give him credit. He made shots. And I thought Tyler guarded him well in the first half. He made a few. Aaron got called for a foul and a three-point shot. So there were some plays in there that he got that, you know, were off the ball as well. But um, but he's a, he's a good player. I mean, you know, it's like we play teams and, and like, Tyler has 27. I, I don't know. Like, they, they try or 28, whatever he had. They tried to stop him from scoring and they didn't have a – they weren't able to do it. So some nights good offense uh, just is going to prevail. It's what happens. And uh, with the regular season closing out, you guys got William and Mary on Saturday. Um, what was going right today that you would like to see moving forward for the rest of the year? Well, I, I, th I think the, the sharing the ball offensively. And we've been a willing passing team. They, they doubled Fitz, so Fitz was able to – I thought – he made the right read in every double team. He had a couple inaccurate passes that we didn't turn over, but he threw a strike to Tyler for a three, throws two for dunks, or gets a layup for Snowy, gets a dunk for Sabri. Um, he really was a good passer for us today, and that really helped us. William and Mary, I don't know if they'll double team him. If they do, hopefully um, he can make those – quality of passes again and um, you know and get us some good shots but you know we, we we went cold from three as we subbed in the second half and we didn't finish the game the last five minutes very well but I thought for 35 minutes we were we played at a really high level and I don't think it would have mattered who we played I think we were going to win today just kind of how we were functioning and uh, in his sixth season of college basketball Aaron Clark finally grabbed uh, 10 rebounds in a game <laughs> um, do you have anything to say about that well, yeah, I mean, it's hard to get 10 rebounds. It's hard for anybody to get 10 rebounds. Uh, he, he's really um, picked up his rebounding, and, and he was averaging 3.6 rebounds a game as of a week ago. That's a pile for a guy who's not a high riser. He's not elite fast. He's just got a nose for the ball, and, and he's got good hands, and he's willing – to absorb and deliver contact in, in areas. So um, it was really great. I mean, we talked about it at halftime. I mean, it was, you know, we were in there, he had six rebounds at halftime. That was part of the halftime talk. And it's not that we're, we also don't need an outlet if he can get it. So, um, you know, it was, it was good for us. It helped us in transition for sure. Coach, uh, uh, to close out the first half, you guys went on a 14 to four run after neither team was able to jump out to a lead early on. What clicks for you guys on both ends? Well, we made three. We made threes. Tyler hit one out of a double team. Jared Fry hit one or two 
And uh, that's really where it separated because it was tight. And then I think it was, I think Jared, Jared hit one, Tyler hit one. And maybe it was, um, uh, you know, I honestly, I thought Jared may have had two in that stretch. I, I thought we hit three threes to take it from four to get to 13, but maybe it was two in a, in a, in a conventional basket. But, um, that, you know, that's always a big part. You got to make shots. You got to make shots. It's hard to get separation if, if you're not making threes, especially when you're getting some good looks, which I thought we got. Thank you, Coach. And uh, this question's for Tyler. You ended tonight with uh, new career line points. How were you able to heat up and get to the river? Um, honestly, just my teammates were fighting me, just moving without the ball and just playing with confidence. You know, we don't have so many games left, so, you know, we got to make, you know, all these games count. And, you know, when at home, we've done a great job at home. So just keeping the hot streak going at home and, you know, keep that same energy when we go on the road. And what was working tonight uh, for the team uh, that you'd like to see moving forward as the season comes to an end? Um, I would say just ball movement. I mean, we've moved the ball the last couple of games, but I think it's just when we hit the shots we're supposed to hit. It makes a difference. And then when whoever comes in off the bench, like Jared did a great job today. He, helped, he wasn't shooting well, came in, sparked us. I got energy from him hitting threes, been trying to find him to hit some threes. So it was good to get him going. And I feel like it's the right time for him to start going. Savvy's been doing his job. And then when everybody else comes in and steps in, you know, it's, it's big, you know they have to make some big time plays for us if we want to make, the, make that next jump. So pretty excited.